Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It Lurks Below. My name is Wilfred and this is a Let's Play Warrior gameplay video. So I'm going to play in real time, uh, explain a little bit slower on what the various aspect of the game is, just in case you are interested to know more about this game and whether you should purchase uh, early state, uh, early access or not. So now uh, this game is developed by one person, David Brevet, and uh, you know the, there's been a lot of development uh, from time to time. If you join the Discord channel, you'll, you'll have uh, access to all the patch notes and so on. Uh, but the game also tells you what kind of things that uh, he's working on, and as you can see, quite a lot of things that uh, has been, been going on with the, uh, with the game itself. Uh, it may have some rain or water effects so on so i'm quite excited to see what that could be now i am playing a warrior right now however there are other classes as well which i strongly recommend you to play rather than a melee class because uh, things like wizard uh, bard cleric enchanter necromancer paladin in the future a uh, rogue is more like a melee maybe melee maybe not uh, so there, there are quite a lot of characters you classes you can try uh, i've tried the ranged character it's very fun i think this game is very very much um, you know you know if you are ranged you, you have a lot of fun playing this game if you play melee you you encounter a lot of like uh, disadvantages uh, i think it's more for those advanced player who ha who has already seen it all done it all with the ranged character and say i want something different something more challenging then a melee character is probably something that you should go for but uh, i i've tried i really i think the game hasn't really uh, evolved such a way that uh, you know it's been fair to the melee character put in this way uh, i've done i just done a service invader it was extremely hard uh, with quite a lot of death uh, just to get through it because you know you've got 20 invaders bundled up together some are ranged some are melee the moment you dash in within two seconds your character is gone uh, regardless of how strong it is so it is just one of those games that uh, you know people ask for melee and mr brevet has created melee but uh, i really don't think that it is still the melee kind of game now um, i'm going to play a little bit different aspect to it so that you can have a feel of what the real game is like rather than compilation or the action there um, so the uh, I, I I've probably just started with the uh, start with how the game works in the sense that you no know, this is health uh, if your health is zero then your character dies uh, and then your 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 items will be dropped randomly um, so you know the more the more times you die the more more items you lose. Uh, but you can pick it up again or you can go to a graveyard and retrieve them all again with a cost with a really high cost. Um, so this is uh, you know health this is mana. Uh, this character doesn't do mana, so don't have to worry about that. This is your uh, hunger level or yeah, it's just the hunger level. So, uh, you know, when you're hungry, then you can't do things. Uh, I mean, there, there are some penalty when you're hungry. So uh, you could farm, you could uh, eat food. I think initially it was quite intense, but now it's getting a little bit more manageable uh, as the game evolves. Uh, this is stamina. So <clears throat> if you your stamina is, uh, is, is, is low, uh, you need to sleep or you can drink coffee. There are coffee that you could drink uh, to replenish your, your stamina. So for example, I could drink coffee here and that's it. I feel completely rested. <clears throat> Now, um, to you know, to play this game, yes, there's a lot of action going on. You need to like kill mobs uh, down below. This is alert below, so this is my base, and all the thing below will be all the monster and bosses and so on. So uh, it's very important to keep your production going. So I'm just going to do a little bit of like uh, farming here, just to give you a sense of what it is like uh, in terms of the you know farming aspect to it. And uh, now they have done it quite nicely. Uh, you, it's not that tedious. Uh, as before so for example this is uh, I believe this is uh, what is it it's a uh, coffee so I could potentially make coffee I don't need to rest anymore and the seed that I have from the coffee bean I could actually plant it back in again so uh, some of them is kind of nice uh, it, you can you can keep planting it and you can keep farming it like the, the berries uh, you, you do not need to put the seed back onto the ground again but sometimes uh, things like weed uh, things like cabbage and carrot uh, you need to uh, replant it back into into it again and it's good that i got a survival band rank up so i can show you uh, what survival rank is so now you have uh, i've got a whole bunch of carrot a whole bunch of uh, you know cabbage and so on so what i could do is make some food first and a good thing if you notice uh, in the uh, early days you need to redo the soil now you don't need to the soil just all there so you know 
again, it's one of those feedback that uh, Mr. Private has listened, and uh, so make the game a little bit more <laughs> more fun. Um, yeah, so uh, the food wise, you know, campfire can make the uh, veggies. Um, so I've got four steps. Maybe I do one more. I don't want to overdo it because it eat up space. Uh, then you have an oven here. You can do a warm berry pie. Warm berry pie give you the property of healing as well. So it give you a little bit of like uh, healing. So it's kind of nice. Now since I'm already, this is a. Uh, you know, food will get expired in 18, 18 minutes. I can make fresh one stack onto it, but then you know, I rather do a really fresh stack because, uh, you know, it's just the ex expiry time. I don't want to go into too much detail, but uh, there is a reason why I do that <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I want five of them: one, two, three, four, five, and I just stack it here. All right. So now the rest of it, uh, basically, I could replant it back again. So I'm just going to make it into seeds. Um, Right, it eat up a little bit of space, but there are ways around it as well. Uh, then you bury. All right, so what I normally do is to replant things back. So I've got the uh, the carrot, the uh, cabbage, and as well as so we, the rest of it become like uh, surpluses. I could uh, surplus that I could sell it back. So I could sell like you know, it's not a lot. But uh, you you get you get some money along the way, and uh, these are like free money anyway. So uh, it helps in the initial part of the game, but it doesn't really help in the late game when things are so expensive to upgrade. So uh, I may continue doing all this farming. I may just uh, farm enough and do other bit of farming instead. So I'm just going to replant it back. And I think good thing about this patch is that you can do four at a time. Last time you need to do one one by one. So you could actually plant that quite nicely, quite fast. You know. Um, yeah, it's a it's a bit uh, it's all the quality of life improvement from before. So now you're all planted, but uh, it's still a lot of like uh, UI management. So I need to like put things into places. I need axe. I need a torch. I need a ladder to move things around. I may need some dirt to to build some structure here and there. So now with that said, I'm all done. Um, now I, I'm ready for my adventure. Now before I get there, just to explain a little bit of what the game is like, you know, gameplay wise. Uh, I'm a warrior, so I'm melee and. Uh, I could, there are two options, either I can use a, a, a sword and a shield, or I can do a wheel. Um, I, I don't really see that much of a difference uh, compared to the, the different things that I have. And also, this is actually not a very good thing because it's a lightning damage 18%, but I'm doing cold damage. So, it, so I could actually uh, do, um, uh, do something else uh, here, uh, but I need to show you a little bit on. Uh, I, I have another... <clears throat> So and seal shield, and it may end up to be better. So um, you know, I what this is undiscovered. So things that are not discovered, I have to discover it. So I have the scroll of identification. You can craft it as well using the the runes that you have uh, destroyed. Oh, sorry, using the crystal that you have destroyed. So uh, you could identify this guy and see what happened. Uh, so this is the uh, vigor uh, block, twelve percent fire damage, heal by three percent of crit damage done, ignore fifty percent of target armor. Uh, knock your target back when hit. So uh, it could potentially be the better uh, than the one I have potentially because uh, you know the eighteen percent thing is not really that great. But uh, you know I could swap it in and try see see how it goes and see whether it become better or not. Meanwhile, let me just uh, oop. <sighs> man. Uh, sometimes I. Uh, sorry guys, uh, sometimes I get amazed by all this UI thingy. So I, I've, uh, I have to re-put the pen. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, too excited. Mm. Uh, sometimes this game. Uh, so I need to put some potion here and there, <coughs> just in case. Now, um, <coughs> I've got ancient. Ancient item define the, the class. Uh, so, you know, different classes have different class ancient item. There are some common ones that you can loot uh, from the ground, I think. And the class uh, ancient can be upgraded using gold. So, um, I've got Darting Boot. I, it's like uh, the one that you've seen before. You could actually uh, like just you know, rush to, to places. Uh, it's rather neat and nice. And, um, and the, uh, then you can have a defensive stand. So, if you play World of Warcraft, uh, you remember last time you have defense stand. Arm stand, fury stand, so you can have a defensive stance, a weapon stand, but I don't really use anything other than defensive because things can be really hard when you play melee. Uh, <clears throat> It's a little bit of pity. Um, I, I wish that the defensive stand kind of interact a little bit more. Maybe, oh, there's a spelling mistake here. I should tell Mr. Private, increase your dodge or block rate. Um, so 6% more dodge or block. So I think if you are playing, uh, you know, sword and, and, and shield like I'm having right now here, 
um, then you know shield usually have better block rate so i think it's where things are more geared towards uh, shield if you do a um, dual view then you probably want to do uh, this one instead um, you know so i think there's some uh, stands kind of dancing but not really because you can't really switch uh, it's not like when you you know in world of warcraft when you switch stands your weapon switches as well uh, it doesn't work this way it would be nice if it was uh, then i've got another one called the uh, reflective chest guard that is a chance to reflect the uh, that uh the projectile back because as a melee it's really hard uh, there's a lot of projectile that's really really hard to to dodge dodge around so there's a chance to reflect back uh, not a big deal 20 percent you still eat 80 percent of uh, of damage by chance uh, but you know there's a 60 percent weapon in damage increase that you cannot ignore all right so these are all the things going on i mean warrior is not that interesting not a lot of like interaction a lot of things are just like uh, it, you know stands kind of thing so uh, not too much about it now there is a collector here so in it in, in um in the event whereby your character dies and you need to retrieve items and this is the guy you you talk to but you can retrieve it retrieve it yourself as well and i got a lot of trees here i got a door here but uh, just now it was really rough the uh, the invader Okay, um, the I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm going to eat some vegetable here. Um, the survival rank. So now this is the part whereby you can further customize your character in terms of well, what you want to do. So things like, you know, if you find that the food rot too fast or it doesn't last as long, you can put some points to it to help you, uh, you know, customize your game in a play in a way that you want it to be. Uh, you could also uh, have more seeds as well and the uh, double the stacks of all the seeds. Like for example, uh, the seed eat up the inventory space for some of like for me who like farming though i think this is probably the the best thing to do all right uh and then you can have the you know um uh you know just various kind of thing that you can do uh you can fertilize your 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 farming things as well you can also make potion uh double step potion as well so it's nice uh you can have a refrigerator uh this is a uh, one that i've been asking david rabbit to do in the very early days uh happy that he has done it uh there are other things that you can cook as well but since i don't have the the ingredient i may as well not put it in you can make coffee as well by the way um so there are things that you can do uh mining the, the thing about uh, this character is that there is no mining requirement because uh you know it, it just i don't i don't need a mine i'm i'm a warrior i can just charge into anything and and things that get destroyed so uh so just now i've uh, increased the stat size so you could actually see how how it goes you can collect them and it become like uh like all these things here you can stack it up nicely all right or you can just uh, straight away uh extract them you know you don't need to collect them and extract them uh is uh it's rather rather neat and after that you have all the seeds and you can just sell it off um ooh, ooh, go up 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 yeah okay just sell it off and make some money a little bit of money right so that's it let me just put the rest of it back into the bank here i'm still trying to get used to the melee it's not that trivial uh it's not that easy so uh, let me just put this one back here uh gear wise um you you, you craft your own gear but you you collect crystal to augment your gear into magical so you know each crystal uh basically these are crystal so each crystal has a different different property so you know this one increase hit point uh, also increase attack power uh, so you know without the crystal this is just a common items put a piece crystal back and uh, that become a magical kind of like armor so you can augment your armor in the way that it makes sense to you uh some of them i'm still using uh you know what i may upgrade this guy and just let you guys see what happens when you upgrade it see whether i've got new yeah i don't really have a nice uh, crystal that I, I can use so i'm going to farm some crystal first uh if i got managed to get a crystal then i may go and upgrade this gear here because this is kind of a level four gear i don't know what level are the rest but uh, i suppose i could actually do a better job with the uh with the with the pants here so uh to do that you can you can you can do a bit of crafting maybe i'll show it to you as well because some of you seen a lot of like uh, gameplays anyway so it, it could be more interesting if i if i show you a bit more on the um on, on this part so i could uh you know I, well okay let me see uh, i could i could make pens uh the pens are here so i need 12 material bar 12 material bar is like a 24 of this one so i don't have enough um unfortunately so i only have 10 so i need two more so what i could do is that i could just like uh, maybe just some um, smell uh smilt smell smell smilt um just do the forge and and do the uh and, and just make all these things first so so this nine step right so i i still need i still need two more so no worry i'll do it later and as uh you know as i chat i mean i can i see that things are already um 
mature. So I would just like uh, collect them a seed first uh, and set it off. So it's a little bit of like a uh, base management, a little bit of like, you know, gameplay. So it's not always uh, killing monsters. Uh, for those who like a little bit of like uh, farming, uh, it's actually rather therapeutic. Uh, may not seem too exciting when you play, but then as you play, there's some nice background music and so on. So, uh, so I've got some money here. I could upgrade some of my... Um, I could upgrade this guy actually. So uh, let me show you how it works. Oh, no, hang on. I can't upgrade this guy. I can't upgrade this guy for 5,000 5, gold. So it get it, the, the cost escalate as you can see. Uh, so I think rank two is uh, possibly something I could manage. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this guy uh, with uh, 5,000 gold, you see. Then then my weapon damage will go to 70%. All right, so now I'm so, sort of uh, more durable and I'm going to go back in the below the surface, uh, which is be way below uh, to continue my journey there. And uh, let's teleport in two, one, zero. So, um, so remember I need some uh, material as well. So I could actually, I don't need a farm, but what I need to do just like, Yeah, so uh, you can you can see the uh, you know uh, let me see let me show you to you. Uh, you you could make torches as well. You need quite a lot of torches actually. Uh, you can just hold a stat of sixty. Uh, again, it's one of these like uh, quality of life improvement that uh, we have made. So you can collect all these like uh, crystal. Um, then as crystal get collected, you get a little bit like you know um, all the dark one here. So I can charge it to this guy and uh, destroy this guy. Yeah, you just have to be a little bit careful sometimes, you just uh, can't really see what's happening. Uh, mm. Alright. So I just collect this guy. E and this is a uh, not identified yet. So, um, well, I, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll continue doing this first and I would like um, uh, do a bit of crafting again uh, once, I, once I get into it alright so uh, I do collect some 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 uh, mushroom for sale as well mushroom can sell for quite a fair bit uh, I don't know whether I've gone this uh, have I done this before I've um, you know I to, to be honest the warrior is not that interesting so I haven't really got a lot of time to really play it but uh, you know uh, let me just uh, go go ahead and uh, dash a bit here and there it's, uh, it's kind of nice you just explore a little bit and then you dash a little bit and uh, you know, uh, you know, it's uh, there is uh, it's so long as you can find a space to land, uh, your your home run maybe there. Oop, there, no, no, no. How about this? Okay. So uh, a lot of monster here. So just be, just in general, be careful a bit. This guy can punch through walls. Uh, so you can see later. No, it doesn't do that. Hmm. Sometimes it does. So I'm getting a little bit hungry. Let me just eat some warm peri pie. All right. So. Um, there are some monsters here, so I'm just go ahead and... Uh... I mean, this is a general melee gameplay. Yeah, uh, I, I usually, what I'll do is I seal off the area first because... Because the uh, sometimes the mob escape and I can't get my treasure box, so... And this guy, little guy, is super annoying as well. I mean, uh, it, not really a lot to to a lot of interaction right now as with a warrior. It is just what it is. Um, get some seed. Sometimes you may have some interesting seed actually. Can't see. Um, yeah, just the UI wise, a little bit odd. Um, so that's it. The uh, treasure box. Nice. Now is uh, I have to find the treasure box. Where is it? It's all the way up there. So I mean, Warrior is very uh, mobile. Uh, that that is for sure. I will give it to Warrior class. So you know, uh, let me just get this odd as well. So we can have four of them. If you don't know where it is, just hold the alt key and it'll tell you where it is. Right, so that is. Uh, let me just call it this guy. You can you can kill the rat as well. Uh, this is a new add the item, and then you can you can get meat out from it. Um, but usually I, okay, I use it to level up my rank. But you know it's not really that interesting to eat the rat meat in this game. Uh, well, I think in real life as well. But anyway, um, so that is the okay. So I, I I've cleared this. I think there's nothing much here, so I could actually progress uh, below. Um, 
just go a bit faster here. Alright. Mushroom. So, uh, you know, in if you play others, you end up having to... Oh, not enough space. So, having to dig through it and now you don't have to. Now, uh, all this crystal green one I don't use, you can destroy it, become the uh, crystal shard and you can make health potion, you can make a lot of thing runes and you know anything that you want to do, do with it. So, that's nice. Um, you know, the uh, I just need to make sure that I'm... Uh, you know, this adventure continues and yeah, let me just... Uh, nice. There's a meat rack as well, you can, you can get meat here. Yeah, so it's a little bit of exploration. Sometimes you have interesting meat, sometimes you don't. Uh, I, I'm just kind of interested to see what's out there. Alright, some seed. I mean, sometimes you could have rather interesting seeds that you, you don't have, like tomato or chili or anything that you could do as well. So it is worthwhile to do a little bit of exploration, um, you know, this game here. Alright, so I think that, that gives you kind of like uh, enough idea of what, what, what this game looks like. And uh, let me just do one last round to, to just take down some of this thing. Some, some loot here, not enough space. Or, so uh, let me just do one more here and uh, let me just go back to the service. Now, the uh, what level am I? I'm level 16. Still a long way to go before the uh, level 20 for my next uh, ancient. So now I have got enough uh, things that I could do. Uh, now I've got the two of this like uh, crystal I could do as well. I've got new cauliflower. So uh, you know what, let me just uh, continue planting some coffee and uh, I'd like to see what cauliflower looks like, what I can do with it. But uh, let me just, uh, hmm, one, one, like a potato as well. So what I am going to do, let me just, uh, um, hmm, okay. What I am going to do is to uh, dig through this this uh, fourth level to put the cauliflower and potato on either side because I, you know, these are all full and uh, oh, I haven't planted anything yet. So I think I may have made a mistake somewhere and I extracted all these things without planning back thing back in and I hope I can buy it back though. So I, I probably need to to buy back some of this seed, uh which cabbage or wheat or whatnot. So uh, let me just like uh <laughs> this is uh, embarrassing. Uh so I need to have the uh the carrot back, the wheat and uh, do I have oh wow. So I, I, I want my wheat back. And um, no, let me just uh, oh, man, this is like drive me nuts. Uh, so let me just uh, eat some of these things, and let me just like uh, put some of these things back. Actually, I don't need any of this. Um, let me just uh, a bit of inventory management here. So I I make some mistake. I forgot to replant things back. So let me just correct my my mistake. And the uh, no, uh, okay. So I need to buy it back. Buy back my cabbage. Uh, twenty five. Okay, buy it back. And the buy back the car carrot and buy back the wheat. All right, so so now I'm I'm so happier. So uh, the rest of it I can sell it back here. Uh, I don't need this. I don't need this. I can cook this. I can. I don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. And the uh, then I can do a little bit of cooking as well. So I'm not going too much of that, but I want to finish this video with the crafting of the uh, the, the leg item that I was talking about. So uh, I've ten. I need two more. So um, I just need to go and uh, make two more ones. One, two. So now I can make a nice pair of pens and I hope it's better than the one I have. So let me just craft the pens here and the pens will be there. All right, done. Uh, so I've got nice pens. Now um, I ooh, hit point 230. So immediately you know that it's, uh, it's better than this one. Uh, but just that this is a unique item with a property. Uh, I can do double jump, or, but you know, yeah, whatever. Um, so I need to put a crystal in. Now I've got two crystal here. And uh, let me see which one is better. Uh, okay, so I got two crystal here, and I've got the scroll here to identify as well. That is what is required. So I'm go just go ahead and identify both of them. 
So one is the uh, speed and armor increase, another one is hit point and experience percentage. I think I think both are nice. Uh, I'll go for hit point and uh, percentage. Uh, experience percentage so I can level up a little bit faster so you know this is a you know white item common item the moment I put it in become a uh, magical items and uh, you know so it's 2191 so that is where things are once I put it in here well it's actually lower hmm, why is it because they're high hit point I could use uh, well I, I tell you what I mean this is uh, none of them is really that great at the moment the hit point, hit point. This is the um. So I I'll go ahead and destroy this one. I'll keep this pants just in case things go south and I can, I can have another pants to uh, swap in. Uh, if I drop my gear, I could still like go ahead and, you know, use my use my old gear. Uh, so it's a little bit like hardcore, but not exactly hardcore. Uh, so I always keep an asset. So I'll go ahead and uh you know cook something here. Maybe you know for example, just show it to you, guys. Uh, there are. There are things like uh, you know campfires here. So the cooked meats and the you know uh, yeah there are different kind of meat. But you don't really feel feel a stomach with it. I use it to just uh, increase my experience point for the survival rank, uh, and that's about it. I mean you know um, I'm uh, yeah I mean there's a little bit of like base management, a little bit of like uh, gameplay, a little bit like you know just taking down the bosses. But like I said, you know melee character is really not. What this game is about if you want to really enjoy the game i strongly strongly suggest you play a range character it's so much more fun all right so uh, thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time goodbye